Hey, welcome to another lesson. I will do weather observation station 11 from the subsection basic select of the SQL section from hacker rank. In this question, we're given this table station that has five columns, ID, city, state, lat, n, and long w. And we're asked to query the list of city names that either do not start with vowel or do not end with vowel. So notice the or, right? Keep that in mind. Result cannot contain duplicates. That means distinct city. So let's get started. I'll do my SQL. And I always like to start with select star from station to see what the data looks like. And there you go. You have these five columns for the purposes of this question. We only care about the city column. So let's go here. So we want only city. And because we want to eliminate duplicates, we say distinct city here. Now we have to say where to filter out the undesired one. So we have to split into two parts. Let's first start, do not start with vowels. How can we do that? So I'm first gonna do like data. Later I can show you regular expressions. So do not start with vowel means does not start with an A and does not start with an E and does not start with an I and does not start with an O, and does not start with a U. So city not like A percent. So A at the beginning, followed by anything. So starts with A, and this is not case sensitive. So it doesn't matter uppercase, lowercase. And since it's not here, that means does not start with an A. So we have to say and also does not start with an E. So not city not like E percent. And then for the other vowels and city not like quotes I percent and city not like quotes O percent and city not like quotes U percent. So City does not start with A, does not start with E, and does not start with I, and does not start with O, and does not start with U. Now they say either, and then they say or, do not end. Now we gotta figure out a pattern, do not end. So we got all this pattern here, but we have to say or, the other pattern that's for not ending with a vowel. So it's going to be like this, but instead of the letter followed by percent, it's percent followed by the letter because it means whatever followed by the letter at the end, in this case, the vowel. So I'm going to say city not like percent A, meaning does not end in the vowel A. And then continue for all the others. And city not like percent E. And city not like quotes percent I. And city not like quotes percent O. And city not like quotes percent U. So all of this within the parentheses means it, it cannot end in A and cannot end in E and it cannot end in I, and it cannot end in O, and it cannot end in U. In effect, it cannot end in a vowel. So this reads where it cannot start with a vowel or it cannot end in a vowel, which it translates what, what the problem is asking here. Let's run code. And there you go. That's a solution using like, if you notice, it's really long, so can we make it shorter? Yes, we can use regular expression. So let me show you. So the first pattern here for does not start with a vowel, we can say city reg exp not, oops, not as before the regular expression. And then you put the pattern for start with a vowel here, beginning of the string followed by square brackets A, E, I, O, U. This means followed by any of these characters. 
in fact, start with a vowel, and because it's not, does not start in a vowel. And then for the other one, it does not end. So we're going to say city, not reg, x, quotes. Now you have to say the pattern for ending in a vowel, and that would be square brackets, A, E, I, O, U, and dollar sign meaning the end of the string. So this at the end. And the not would mean does not end. And that's the solution with regular expression. If you want to shorten it even more and place the knot within the pattern for the regex, you can do that, remove the knot here, and inside a square bracket, add the caret or circumflex. That means not any of these following characters. Different from the circumflex at the beginning, that says beginning of string, be careful. And do the same here for the second pattern, remove the knot. Inside the square brackets, add the caret or circumflex. And this will mean not any of these characters. Let's run code and see. And that's it. I'm going to click submit code. And that's weather observation station 11.